I've just woken up and I'm completely bewildered already. I've come through to my study thinking I'd start work and I found my desk like this. And just to clarify, no, this is definitely not how I left my desk. Then I glanced up and I saw that the massive mess continues either side of the mantelpiece, but there is a very glaring omission. Where's my mirror? In my completely befuddled state, I'm trying to piece together what happened. And for those of you who watched Thursday's vlog, you'll know that Philip and I stayed up all night wallpapering the bathroom of Bon Maman to get it ready for the guests who are arriving today. And that was last night. I got to bed at 7.30 this morning and Philip promised he was coming. He said he was just finishing a couple of tiny bits of wallpapering that needed doing over the window. He hasn't come to bed. And now that I've come through here, it's now midday, by the way, I had four and a half luxurious hours of sleep. Now I think that he hasn't stopped working. We'd been talking about maybe taking this mirror for Bonne Maman to free up another mirror for the bathroom there. But we weren't planning on doing it this week. And now it's been well over 24 hours since he came to bed. So I'm going to go and try and find out what's happening. Philip? Yeah. You're there. Where are you? Yeah. I can't believe you're still up. I've got a meeting in eight minutes, but I'm not sure. I <gasps> oh, Philip. You should not be doing this. Oh my goodness, there's the mirror. Well, that's what started this entire expedition. Uh, I got up, went to the study, couldn't find the mirror, and guessed what had happened. Well, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah, I love the idea, but I didn't think you were going to do it now. Yeah. I mean, I'm delighted for this room. Wow, that looks so much better than the last one in here. Mm. It wasn't just uh, me, it was me and Emery. I have no idea where you got your energy from. Uh. I Red crashed Bull. at seven thirty. You serious? You've been on Red Bull? Just, just one. So uh, I wouldn't quite say this is the best advertisement for Red Bull, but yeah. so you're swapping the curtains? Thank goodness, because last night when we put the wallpaper up, we realised that these curtains that I really like actually, um, they just totally clashed with the wallpaper. And then I remembered that I had these beautiful green silk curtains that used to be in my study, and we can use those. Do you think they'll fit? Uh, I know they'll fit. Oh, sorry, I've got a meeting, that's why. Um, I know they'll fit because I've already hung the first one. <gasps> okay, I'm going to have a look. They fit way better than the others. You're on fire. Oh, Philip. Wow. The difference of putting the furniture back in as well. Oh, I love the green carton. Darling, you haven't walked round yet. Amory and Philip have put up the mirror that was in the bedroom of Bon Maman into the bathroom and that looks superb. Oh, this room has never looked so good. What does everyone think of the wallpaper? Did they say anything today? Everyone loved it. Oh, it is gorgeous. But what a difference the green curtains make. Can we not hang those a bit higher to try and hide a bit of that pole I'm just until we get a nicer one? No, but I can. Whilst Philip runs off to his meeting, I'm going to just move these from here down to here because they're a bit long as well. So that will help both at the base and it'll hide a little bit more of the pole just until I have a chance to get a nicer one. You can leave those there. I'm staging an intervention. I know you've got a meeting now, but after that, you are well, going I'm to bed. Waiting for the link. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And then bed. Seriously, Philip, I'm taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had four luxurious hours of sleep. Wow. <laughs> Refreshing. Okay, see you later. Well, they look a hundred times better than the ones that used to be here. Obviously, they're far too long, but I don't want to cut them down because eventually we're going to put them outside the architrave, so much higher up. I mean, look how high the ceiling is. We've got loads of space and it will be much grander that way. And it'll also let a lot more light into the room because we'll be able to push them that much further away from the window itself. I made them years and years ago for my study, but because I had a wall taken down in there, I've now got two windows in there. So I couldn't use a single pair of curtains and I have no more of the fabric. 
And I'm going to take these up for storage as well, the old ones that were here. I never made these. In fact, I think I bought them at a charity shop, but they're so well made. It's a really gorgeous chintz. They're completely interlined and they have this lovely edge all the way along. And having made so many pairs of curtains, in fact, I've made over a hundred curtain drops for La Land. I know just how time consuming this would be to create, but I'm sure I'll find another project for them in future. I've brought them up to the great curtain storage area at the top of the attic stairs. Here we've got the old curtains from the Marquis Salon that we replaced for cream ones. We have the pelmets from my bedroom that I've taken down just to get a bit more light. We have all of the Grand Salon curtains waiting to go back. Extra curtains that match the bed crown in my bedroom and, well, honestly, the curtains just go on and on and on. There are so many pairs waiting for projects. I may have a curtain fetish. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're lovely, yeah. I love the tulips. tulips. Are they the yeah. ones that Kirsty brought? I saw her arrive with some yeah. tulips. She said, she said that they are growing in a corner where you can't see them, so yeah. she figured it'd be nicer. For oh, someone yes. To I enjoy them. Bluebells and what I'm calling white bells. White bells? Okay, that's a first for me as well. Yeah. Never seen white bells. Mm -hmm. Well, the bluebells are insanely beautiful. They are. Yeah, they've yeah. covered the ground completely. It looks like the, you know, lavender fields. And Today is the day I'm going for a picnic yeah. there. I've been yeah. saying this for ages, but having just stared at bluebells constantly doing the wallpapering, I'm going to see the real thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and worth it, it's worth it. So did they come from the yeah, flower factory? That, that's the flower factory, it's over there. Okay. Hello, flower factory. <laughs> so they're yeah. gorgeous, they're so gorgeous. This have a really nice smell. It does smell really good in here. Mm. I love working with flowers. <laughs> are these from the garden? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So these are the bought roses and yeah, I've just added. Yeah, this is ours. This is from the lake. I got into the mud for them. I don't know if it was worth it. A hundred percent. How can you doubt it? Look at that. Oh, and you've done these? No, Magdalena did this. Oh, really pretty. Yeah. I love these in here. It keeps yeah. changing. Yeah. Every week there's different flowers. And look at the windows. I like this colour combination because I love yeah. the bluebells with the red roses. Did you see how big they They're are? They're so tall. Yeah. They are huge. I've never seen them like that before. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Don't eat. It's because Philip wants to get them all to hatch. You know, like, uh, we had a discussion, like, uh, I was in the garden, but Maria and Maggie had a discussion what the sup mean. And they were like, what is sup? Supper? Uh, or like suspicious, what is sub? And I came and like, oh, don't eat it, please, s'il vous plaît. And they're like, oh, yes. this makes so much sense. Plaît. Exactly, you got it. <laughs> it's not sub. <laughs> it's a lovely warm day, so at least it's a nice day for the guests to arrive, but there is still a lot to do. And I'm just going into the tack room apartment now to see how Amory's getting on. He has been working non-stop in here. Amory? Oh, hello, Dave. Is Amory up at the top? No, he's going down onto the workshop. Okay, I'll go see how he's getting on. Oh, the kitchen's back in place. Did you see this last week? Did you come in here? How's he done it? How? He's miracle Yeah, that is superhuman. I've got footage for all of you of just the sheer devastation of everything that Amory has had to achieve just to get it looking the way it did in the first place.
dust in the whole flue. He is a marvel. Mind you, so are you, because I saw the amount of dust last time I came in as well. So yeah, this is a huge change. I did half of it yesterday. Yeah. It's half today. Right, so attacking this bit. Good luck. Thank you. amazing. No, seriously. Just please read it Amazing. Just to reiterate to your view is that it is temporary. How I made it is terrible and it's not staying there for a long time. It's temporary. We know. Should we like tell them have a look? Oh, I haven't been up there for ages. Well, I mean, it's not as though they're going to be going up there. No, but it's obviously it's filmed, so it's not among one of our best constructions. <laughs> it's more that we suddenly realised that from the bed, the view in the mezzanine was of a horrific flu going right up through it. And you don't even really notice the boxing that much now, cuz. No. No, no, it's really good. I haven't done the floor either. Yeah. It's just visually for the guests. Because it's all coming back out in two weeks. I know, you have to still work in there. Yeah, so. There's the flu. No, it looks really neat downstairs, which is all that matters for now. Yeah. Just keep it tidy. Are you starting to feel relieved? Well, I just feel terrible for poor Dave because I'm still um, I'm still dragging my heels in the sense of getting this done for him because I'm still bringing in a bit of plaster dust and all that kind of stuff. So as quickly as you're clearing up the dust, he's creating more dust? Yes, it's not too bad, though. <laughs> it's quite clean. So yeah, just one last panel to go onto there. And like I said, for a temporary, um, yeah. temporary cover-up, just to make it look, just for it to be a little bit prettier for the guests. No, it's great. Until, um, I think it's yeah. really good. And thanks, by the way, for moving that mirror with Philip into the bathroom because that's made all the difference. Yeah, it looks good. It looks great in there. It looks, it's, pro it's got a proper wow. Um, yeah, did you feel it when you went yeah, in there? Definitely. Oh, that makes me happy because I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see the room for the bluebells by the end of it. Yeah. I was lost. <laughs> all right. See you <laughs> Sorry, later. Sir. Can you believe the transformation that Amory did? I honestly, I thought this time it wouldn't be possible for him. It was just too bad. Always. Always on time. That looks perfect. <laughs> this is the biggest difference for me, Amory, the fact that this was just a mass of wires. And I know that what you've done is only temporary, but it just looks so much better than it did. The skirting's back on. Oh, yes, you got the skirting on as well, which the plumbers had popped off to do the radiators. I might have grown. You always get there. <laughs> Amory's just getting the worst of the plaster dust off, and then Dave's going to carry on with the room. That was not part of the uh, program. I was just <laughs> testing the piano because, um, first of all, we, we've put back two of the ivories that I stashed away. In that, oh, yes. In that chess, uh, Fabulous. Yeah. So, so two are back, I yes, there's time. two they're, they're missing. Back. Two still missing, but yeah, um, so it sounds a bit better today because basically mm. after the tuner had put this in and did the tuning, he told me not to touch the piano for 24 hours, which I did, mm. following rules, yeah. But then yesterday, a lot of the keys had this like metallic kind of sound and I was very worried because they're all yes. the first octave. Now, it, I think it's fine, it's fine. It's settled. Yeah, maybe after the move as well, because I was worried. I was like, oh God. Yeah, that's it's it. Moving it. Now, it's yeah. going to take a couple of tunes anyway to get it back oh, yeah, yeah. to where it, gets, it should be. When it gets uh, warmer as well, with the change of temperature, yes. it's going to change a bit as well. So, anyway, it's going to be a lot more in tune than last that's, week. That's true. But I think it's, we're going to be good. Thank goodness. Okay, yes, I'm it's glad it's settled. I was just saying, it, it's so strange, all the different types of preparation that go into yeah. the weekend. It's not yeah. just cleaning the rooms. Yeah. Sorting out the pianos, uh, all sorts of things. Yeah. We're expecting the guests within the next 20 minutes. So I'm just sneaking to Bon Maman to see how the bathroom's looking now that Dave has done a big clean. I can see the floor's just been mopped, so I don't want to go in too much. He's done a big steam clean of the curtains as they just come down from storage in the attic. We thought it was a good idea to give them a deep, deep clean. And the room is beautiful. I'm quite speechless. I cannot believe it came out this nicely. And these are the wall lights that Philip really disliked, but everyone in the house who didn't like them is now agreeing that they look really good against this wallpaper. So they've had a stay of execution from everyone. They're going to be staying a little bit longer. 
There's still a lot to do in this room. We've got to paint below the dado level, so below the wallpaper, there'll be another color. I think we're going to paint the whole sink unit as well, which is actually original to this bathroom. It belonged to the Marquis whose bathroom this was. We'll probably stick with the same chandelier for a while, but we need to lower it by a good half a meter into the room. And then of course, there's a picture rail to go up and maybe we'll paint the ceiling a different color. We're not quite sure yet. So still a lot to do. And as soon as the guests have left, we'll come in with paint swatches and choose all of the next colors. But I just can't get over how good it's looking. I'm so excited about it. And it's just lovely looking through to it from the bedroom. Oh, I love the fact that Pavlina put the bouquet with the bluebells into this room. That could not be more perfect. I hear Maria again. This time she really is practicing in Nick and Marie's house. Now I'm gonna go up to the tack room and see how things are looking there. What a transformation. Amory and Dave, the dream team. That's looking so much better. I'll just leave the little welcome card. The people arriving today have been here several times before, so I'm super excited to see them again. When you consider what this was looking like, only yesterday, frankly, the transformation. That's the champagne arriving. Yes. All right, well, I better get out because they'll be here any minute, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, the chateau's ready, but clearly I am not. So I'm going to go and have a very long bath and wash my hair and just generally de-wallpaper. I'm done with time to spare. I don't think anybody <laughs> Everyone else is going crazy for it. Yeah, you are done. Actually, I'm done. The wallpapering is done. Yeah, that's oh. the, uh, the dream team. We can now go enjoy the pair of teeth. <laughs> it's a little early for that, isn't it? The sun's always going down on the yard arm somewhere. Actually, there. when you picked that up, I thought you were picking up the pitank set to play ball outside. Having spent the entire night wallpapering bluebells, what better way to, well, end your day, because you're going to go to <laughs> sleep after this, <laughs> than to go and see more bluebells. Uh, Even along the side of the road, we're starting to get a glimpse of what is to come. And there are lots and lots of wild orchids, like the ones that Pavlina saw in the garden with the spotted leaves. These are rather rare. Beautiful. And there's so many of them. There's like 30 of them. Well, more than that. More? Yeah, that all the way along. Bit. We're so lucky here. There are lots. We're starting to see so many bluebells here. And this is just the edge of the wood, but it's inside the woods that we want to go and the see them. as well, by the way. Yeah. Onto the old side. It's a view that we rarely see. And it's the original part of the chateau. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I know. I've been so excited to show you because you've never seen them like this. Not like this. It's fairyland. It's just a carpet of bloom. <laughs> you look stunned. Philip knew that we have amazing bluebells here, but he's never fully seen them like this because we came and we did the Easter egg hunt here, but they weren't all out yet. I know. I know. Look here. Look, it looks like a blue carpet all the way along. That's because it is a blue carpet as far as the eye can see. There. It's just blue instead of green. Let's get in there. Yes, when we came for the egg hunt, they were just starting. So there were bluebells, but you just couldn't get the full impact. When Pavlina and Magdalena came here to have a look, they were in tears. They just said they, they'd never seen such beauty. It's almost like the lavender fields of Provence. Yeah, this is so weird. It's beautiful. Okay, we found a little path into the woods. Oh, Philip. <laughs> and I can assure you that it just doesn't do it justice on screen. It is even more beautiful than what you're seeing. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It doesn't come across on camera at all. It's, it's mesmerizing. I think we found the spot for our picnic. There's a little clearing here. Obviously the deer have been walking this way. So this is a good place for the blanket and we have a pretty nice view of sun dappled woods filled with bluebells and we have rosé. And I have leftover pizza from last night's dinner. I love my little blanket, so I'll spread that out here. We deserve this after that wallpapering. I feel like I can still see bluebells. It's almost as though we could hmm. still see bluebells. Hmm. Weird. But isn't it funny that 
I just, just I happened to be in the store, right? And came across it and it yeah. was the most Lan Lan thing I'd ever seen. But I'd never seen it in full bloom like this. Yeah. Now and you realise just how perfect the wallpaper yeah. is. But Actually, I love the fact that from here I can just see the chapel. And you can hear just the in the distance and hear the frogs. Do join me on the blanket, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Rosé and a Napolitana. What have you got in your little... Oh, a pain au chocolat. Pain au chocolat wise it's just blue so lucky to think that this isn't even something that we need to garden the clearing in the other woods that nick and cameron are doing that's actually going to help bring the bluebells over to that side of the woods as well but this is completely natural it's that like also miracle. makes me realize like how much of an homage it is to the beauty of the land and part of it the bathroom i mean with the yes. little green wallpaper Picked me a bluebell. Thank you, darling. It goes well with the, uh, the blanket. Of course, I planned that, darling. I did Obviously, plan the glasses, I, I, actually. You, actually, that's true. You actually did plan the glasses. I love this blanket. I love you. Just looking up at the trees and listening to the frogs and the bumblebees and the birds. We have just had a nap for, I think, an hour. Amidst the bluebells, mm. nothing could be more perfect. I bet you do after your night. That was idyllic. <laughs> the wisteria is really coming out now, and I think everyone is enjoying the sunshine, just as Philip and I were. Spard and Ludwig really having a good route around in the new bed that Magdalena is creating at the front. It's going to be so, so pretty. Oh wow, it's only been a few days since I last came into the garden and but it's transformed. Look how the blackberries have started to completely cover the arches. Just a couple more years and I think we won't see the metal at all anymore. And we have buds on the clematis so soon it'll be covered in flowers as well. And even more importantly, how long to wait till we get some blackberries? It's time for dinner now, so what table will Philip have created this evening? Ooh, greens! I like it! It's really fresh and cheerful and fun. I love it's it, actually. It's a little spring thing because it doesn't look like spring outside to, uh, at the moment. But it did this afternoon. Today was incredible outside. It's been a bit cloudy, but... Look, there was a whole boyfriend under that beanie. I'd forgotten. The napkins look really pretty with the plates. Thank you very much. Goodness, how oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 We have a raspberry and beetroot tie and then a little goat's cheese yeah. and a nasturtium from the garden. Uh, yeah. Which I called marigold last week. Oh, yeah. 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 I got into trouble for <laughs> 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 that. Thank, Thank you. you. What's well, so the main today? We have uh, cod with a pea puree. Sugar snappies and shoots from the garden, and uh, my special herb sauce. Oh, special herbs! Does that mean we're not allowed to know? Thank you, Maria. Well, enjoy the special herbs, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what's going to happen later. It's not a special herb. <laughs> 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 Dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free. Nut-free. Calorie, calorie. 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 Cream and roasted hazelnuts. And the flowers are apple blossoms. Uh, oh, lavender as well. What gave you the idea of lavender? Well, I've uh, made the lavender sugar, so I used it. For the uh, and this is from our lavender then? Sorry? That's yeah. the yeah. sugar yeah. from our lavender. Yeah. Yeah. And yours are, uh, yours are tea free. They're um, <laughs> lavender, lemon, vanilla. Uh, so, thank you all for joining us for another day at the Chateau de Lalande. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons but especially Ashley Wolf, Beverly Veras Yusufian, and Lodovico Zordanazzo. Thank you so much for supporting us here at La Land. Lots of love to all of you, and I can't wait to see you in Sunday's video.